How's it going guys? I'm coming to you with a brief command block scoreboard tutorial for beginners. I know they can be pretty intimidating at first and this is just a cool effect that can be achieved in just minutes for a, a private server that you're hosting or something like that. So you can see we're in snapshot 15w51b. It shouldn't be necessary, I think a lot of the older versions, like ever since command blocks and scoreboards were added, this should definitely work. So hop into a multiplayer server, one that you'll be able to be an op on. This one's brand new. I haven't even we haven't even used a map. Um, and let's join. All right. So here you spawn in a random location. It's important to do this in this location because, like, if I spawned right over here, um, all these chunks around me are going to be loaded even when I'm not in the area because these are the these are the spawn chunks. Any person can spawn within, I think, 20 blocks of the spawn point, but many chunks around that, maybe like a like a 10 by 10 um, range of or radius, I don't know. They are always kept loaded in game. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna find a spot. This is perfect because I know it's in the spawn zone since I just spawned in here, and you're gonna want to dig away just a little uh, square. So I'm gonna try and speed that up for you, and. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. <laughs> you can see I have a 10 by 10 area. Now the size doesn't really matter all too much, but you want a nice big square. Um, so what this effect is, is on the sidebar over here, sometimes you see people have like the health or like different names over here. We're going to have it scroll through a few different, um, different like stats. So maybe health, um, death, how many diamonds you've mined. How many emeralds you mind? Let's just do that for now. Um, so we're gonna have a big timer going. So what we're gonna want to do, this is step one. Give yourself, I'm some college kid, 137, which is a command block. All right. So I'm not really sure exactly why the first command didn't work, the one that was give some college kid 137. But try just doing this. This is like a surefire way. Minecraft colon command underscore block. So you see, that'll give me a command block. All well and good. Just a normal, normal command block. So let's start by putting, finding the center, which is here. How about we put them, here's the center four pieces, right? We put them around each on one side. So they're spaced out enough. Um, you want them spaced out, so if you put a strong signal from a repeater, for example, into one, you don't want it interacting with any of the others. It's very important that they sort of stay put. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a big clock. Sort of like this. So you'll see if I add some redstone, here, 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 and then I do the same thing, for example, here, 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 and here, <clears throat> excuse me, here, 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 and here, 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 and here, and then fill those in with some repeaters. You can see it'll go from now I guess this is sort of shaping up to look a little bit like a, a swastika, so do not mind that, that's not intentional whatsoever. Um, but you just want a big loop, you can shape it as, me er, as far along as you want, and the more repeated you have, the slower the, the cycle is on the right. So oh yikes, it's an octopus. <laughs> Alright, so what you're going to want to do, or er, let's just, I'll show you how it works. So if you put a redstone torch down here, just for a little bit, you can see it, it cycles through the whole entire thing. Pretty impressive. Now it's going a little fast right now, 
So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna sort of cut, cut or speed up. I'm just gonna set all of these to three ticks. Boom, it's not, it's not that slow, it's not that fast. I think it's actually pretty good speed. So that's pretty much most of the building stuff. Now it's all in commands. So we're gonna have to make a couple of objectives for the scoreboard. So you wanna go to scoreboard, objectives, objectives, add, name it, whatever you want. I'm gonna do deaths. And then we're gonna be counting death count. That's something that I, that's not something I choose to write. If you look in the description, I'll put a link to the, the wiki page that gives a very big <laughs> list of all the different things that you can write here, like things that track death. I'm gonna show you one that tracks how many diamond blocks you've mined. Um, pretty basic stuff. So if you just hit enter, it's, it's done, but you don't see anything yet. So you're gonna wanna do is scoreboard, objectives, set display, and then sidebar. So now you still don't see anything. That's because nobody's died <laughs> since the time um, that I set the objective. So nothing's been updated. You can force something to be updated by doing the following. Oop. You can set scoreboard, instead players, set, some college kid, deaths, and then zero. Oh, that makes sense. So scoreboard, objective, set, display, sidebar, I have to tell it what to set. So I'll click deaths, and there we are. And now we're gonna do a few more of those. See, it just, it sort of stays there. Let's say experience level. So we can do scoreboard, oops, objectives, add, experience, and then the, instead of death count, we write level. So it says added new objective experience. And now if we do, let's see, just go back, set display for the sidebar to be experience, Again, it doesn't update immediately. You can see on the right, now it's updated with my experience over here. So you can see down here, level four, over there, level four. So that one works perfectly as well. Let's make one more for diamonds, or two more. One for diamonds, one for emeralds. Objectives, add um, diamonds. And then let's, uh, this one's a little more complicated. So it's gonna be stat dot mine block, oop, mine block, oof, dot minecraft dot diamond, or please be right. All right, perfect, mined block, there they are. So this is sort of like a cool way to have like friendly competition, keep track of how many diamonds everybody's mined. All right, so finally we're gonna do the same thing. Let's see if I can go back. So instead of diamonds, we're gonna do emeralds. And over here, I'm pretty sure it's emerald ore. It's been added. And now if I do the same thing, go back to creative. It's a lot of back and forth, I know. And find emeralds. Oh goodness, where am I? All right, there we are. Um, go back, place a few, go into game mode zero. So you can see I have my three blocks. Now, of course, something I forgot to do is add to the sidebar emeralds. Right, there it is. So now we have these four scoreboards, or four objectives that are being kept track of. And here's where this comes into play. We have four blocks, and we're gonna fill each one. Oh, gotta be in creative, I forgot. Fill each one with scoreboard, ob uh, objectives, set display, sidebar. So one will be experienced. So now that command blocks are enabled, something I should've done way back when, we will go do what I was just doing. So scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar, experience. So now whenever it'll go through this block, it'll set it to experience. You'll see it in just a sec. Watch the right side of the screen. Boom, set it to experience. And now we're gonna do scoreboard, objectives, 
set display, sidebar, diamonds, your scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar, emeralds, scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar, uh, ooh, depths. There's one problem. Every time one of these is hit, you can see in chat that it just tells you, it spams the chat with all these different changes. So one thing you can do from in-game, if you're the operator once again, you can say game rule, and then command block output false. So now you'll see, even though they're being activated, nothing's popping up in chat, which is just what we want. So if we're just walking around doing our game, right? Tells us our experience, tells us our diamonds, our emeralds, the whole nine yards, beautiful. Now pretty much we have that sidebar going. Now there are a few other things that I want to do to set up my server for my brother and I. One of which is to keep track of our health in the tab screen up here and on top of our heads. That one's pretty simple. So if we add another objective called, let's call it health, because that's pretty easy. And this one's just health, <laughs> hit enter. And then we do scoreboard objectives set display. Oh, it is the list instead of sidebar. And then health. That's perfect. So let me hurt myself. If I jump down, lost two, and there we are. Now, if I do the same thing scoreboard objectives set display below name. It'll do the same thing. Now you can't really see it because I am alone here, but if I was in multiplayer, um, or rather if somebody else was on the server, you'd be able to see their health underneath their name. As you can see, we have a pretty functional setup. Um, obviously again, not the smallest, not the most beautiful, <laughs> definitely not the most beautiful, um, but pretty good nonetheless. What you can do is just light it up a little bit you're going to want to cover it up. I guess you could say it's utterly amazing. So that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple system. It doesn't usually take that long. I just sort of made a few mistakes along the way. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked what you saw or found it interesting, feel free to leave a like or a comment. Otherwise, have a good day.